Um, okay, super. Uh, recording has started. Great. So, yeah, I don't know, Cindy, you want to do kind of a morning yes. hello introduction? Or I can go yes. up to you. You go ahead. Absolutely. Guys, woof, it's day four. Who else feels like the week has just flown by? One minute, we're welcoming you guys, and we are fighting for space on Google Meet. The next minute, we have to beg you to attend Google Meet because a lot of you are tired. Who feels tired on a scale of one to 10? Who feels tired? You can, you can type in the chat box, tell me I am tired as hell and I need a vacation. Or you can say I need to be rescued. Or you can say I am as fresh as the morning dew. I'll start yeah. a poll. I'll start a poll, Cindy, actually. There's <laughs> Please, a poll okay. option. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that, Arun. Yes. So, guys, we know that this has been intense, okay? The truth is week zero is is literally designed to be this intense because we want to know if you can handle week zero then the rest of it is going to be a breeze so i want to give a special shout out to people who even though you're bruised and limping and tired you're still crawling to the finish line you're showing up you're putting in whatever effort you can and you're just finding ways to invest in yourself and in this journey okay but we also know that there's some real challenges that a lot of us have had to face over the last couple of days some of them have been on our end especially when it comes to our technology or things to do with access and everything else i'd like to believe that our team has been very helpful and on hand to help you in those things right but i want to hear from you guys it's one thing for me to imagine in my head it's a whole other thing to hear it directly from you guys so uh who mm. wants to volunteer? Okay. So, Cindy, just before before we get into that, I just want to make a couple of announcements, and then we can get into the feedback, if that's okay. okay. Absolutely. Go. <clears throat> okay. So, as Cindy said, we um, we've some things haven't gone perfectly well. Uh, the outage on Rocket Chat yesterday was unexpected. So, in the spirit of openness and transparency, this is one of the questions we had: Why don't we just use Slack like everyone else? <clears throat> and we want to build a system which is scalable. That's one of the things that we mentioned on day one. And one of the problems with that is dealing with unexpected events. And yesterday we had sort of a cascade of events. There was somebody. With, there was a lot of activity around um, fifteen thirty UTC, and somehow that led to a cascade of everything just went down, 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 down. And it took us a while to figure out how to get that back up, which meant that Rocket Chat went down. Um, the quiz also, um, we had delayed that, which happened just around the same time. So a lot of things fell down around the same time. Um, and part of that system building is also this training process and our, we made a lot of assumptions and we're, we're learning as we go. Um, so in terms of announcements, A, sorry for the outage. Um, that was unexpected. We're back, we're more stable than before. And we decided that we do want to run our own system and not depend on off-the-shelf stuff. Um, so Rocket Chat is not as nice as Slack, but it allows us to actually build a scalable system. We don't think that we can train um, more than 50 people using a system like Slack. So apologies for that. Um, the submission that was due yesterday is due today at 12 UTC, which is in uh, four hours or just a little bit less than four hours from now. So that's the second um, that's the second big announcement. And then the third big announcement from our side is we, well, the third and the fourth, the leaderboard is up. Um, we've tried to mask the emails. We've just provided a few characters that are there. Um, some of you may have emails that make it not fully clear. Um, so you can reach out to me or you can reach out to me and we'll provide that mapping of email to the student ID. So we want to make sure that everyone knows um, where do they stand? And that brings us to our last point. So we, this whole process, as Cindy said, was designed to be hard. Um, we are focused on getting people ready for jobs anywhere in the world. We only have three months to do that, and we have a very specific set of jobs that we want to prepare people for. And part of the disconnect that we seem to be having is um, we're not expecting on day one that everyone is a job-ready machine learning engineer. Not at all. Um, as mentioned, what we are looking for are people who are willing to um, put in the work and to 
yeah, I guess to kind of try things out and submit things, not to submit nothing, but to follow the basics of the instructions um, and to figure out what has to be done. There's a quote that I really like that I wanted to share, which is a change in perspective is worth 80 IQ points. Now you can agree or disagree about the value of IQ, but what we're seeing is that the people who follow the instructions and say, actually, I don't need to get everything done, but I do need to get something done. And the something doesn't have to be that everything works perfectly, but I show some progress. Um, those are the people that we think are showing up as excellent or good, or they're providing us with enough information for us to make a decision. And what we're looking for, we don't plan to keep this pace up um, for 12 weeks because we simply won't manage. And we don't think that it's realistic to manage this pace for 12 weeks. But we are making an investment into every person who's here. And we want to see um, who is ready to uh, take up that investment that we're going to make into all of those people. And so that's why in week zero, we want to see who's going to, who's going to take the system up um, as, as we have in mind. And so you'll see the leaderboard. If you have any questions in terms of your student ID, you can let us know. Um, if you have any questions on what it means, you can also let us know. But very basically, those um, people who are excellent have shown us that, yeah, they're doing really, those people who are excellent and good have shown us that they are on track. Um, we do want to have a quick interview with each and every person just to talk to them and get to know them a little bit better um, before we invest into the next uh, three months of the process. But if you're doing excellent, keep it up. Um, it means that you've shown that you've gone above and beyond. If you're doing good, you're meeting expectations. It's, um, it's a lot that we're asking of you. So keep that up. And if you want to take it up or if you're able to take it up another notch, even better. Um, for those of you who have figured out what it is that um, you're supposed to be doing, we'd really like to encourage you to share some of that knowledge with some other with some of the other learners. And um, we did have some challenges around the channel naming, um, all of this. I mean, believe it or not, the Rocket Chat system is also just um, even a few days old. We just got it up and running just before everyone joined. So we are learning as we go. Um, <clears throat> and we will be reaching out to everyone who had started the week. And we believe that there are many people who started the week. I had mentioned this yesterday. There are many people who started the week who may have thought that, OK, this is um, the expectations are unrealistic. And we don't want to, we don't think that we can keep it up. So we've decided for anyone who wants to, um, we'd still like people to submit as planned today and then the final submission will be tomorrow. Um, people who submit as per the original scheduled plan, it's to their advantage. But um, without penalty, anyone, even if people just join today and start working on the challenge, um, they can submit without penalty. And so we will be writing to everybody just to ask them to give it a try. Because we do have 50 spots that are open, and we know that there's more talent that's out there than um, we have 50 people on the call today. Um, we started with 126 on day one. And we know that there are, yeah, there's probably people out there who thought, this is too difficult for me. And so what we will be saying is that if people submit up till the end of the month, that's the 30th of June, next Wednesday, um, there's no penalty for them. Um, and there will be support provided in the tutoring channel. And my belief is that many of you who have figured it out will be willing to give pointers and tips on how to get uh, this stuff done. So just in terms, in a summary, um, leaderboard is posted today. Lots of people have done, and I guess it's probably most of the people who are on this call, have shown that they've been able to make really good progress. And so that's congratulations, kudos to you. Um, there will be more people making submissions to give us uh, enough information on the base to make a decision. Um, and yeah, we do know that it's hard. Um, it's We're not expecting people to be job ready today, but we are looking for people when faced with a challenge that they show up. Because if you don't show up, during the assessment week, it's difficult for us to know, will you stick with it during the 12 weeks of the training? And I think that's something that we saw, and there's quite a few people here from batch, um, quite a few people here from batch three. Um, Lowell, actually maybe Lowell, if you want to unmute, I remember Lowell, Lowell's one of our batch three grads, he's here as a tutor. Um, and Lowell was one person who mentioned at some point he had kind of stopped and he had, I think he had, he was watching Premier League football 
and was having a good time with his kids, his uh, siblings. And then somebody got him back on on board. So I don't know, Lowell, if you want to share a couple of words of why did you decide to give up and then not to give up, and what did that? How did you experience that? Oh, okay, all right. Thank thank you very much, Aaron. So hello everyone. So I'm Lowell. So yeah, well, I'm part of the batch three for last year. So and of course, unlike most of you here, yeah, our of like most of you yeah, I didn't have a tech background. I had my bachelor's in chemistry. So at the start of it, all the programming and all was new to me, even though I had slight knowledge of Python and all. So it became really difficult. I mean, trying to do, I mean, we had to do some mining of data at that time on Twitter. So, but then I just, it really what I realized about 10 Academy during the assessment stage myself is, it's a matter of you showing up. That's the word I don't use. You showing up and just keep applying yourself. I mean, you don't necessarily have to get it all right, but you during the whole stage, you won't see how much you've grown. But trust me, eventually, just after this first week again alone, before the start of the real training, you would you would appreciate yourself if you stick along. Because it would seem so difficult. So, like Aaron mentioned, I think it was the third week thereabouts. <laughs> we were working with some with a research paper, so around that time it was some COVID paper. So it it was just so blood and I was just so blanked out. I had given up that okay, I'm just out of this now. Let me just fix my chemistry and leave data science to those that can do it. So and we we're doing that in a group. So you guys will still work in a group. So one of my teammates reached out to me, okay, now let's get this done. So it's some motivation. We just kept pushing and eventually, I mean, after the third week, I had no purpose to just say I would give up again. Okay. After this third week, I just keep pushing and it was really nice. And eventually, I mean, I thanked myself for it. So I would advise everyone here, even if you are struggling, just keep asking questions on the channels. You you can't go wrong by asking questions. The simplest of questions, keep asking. There are so many people to support you. We tutors are here to support you. Your colleagues are here to support you. So Please and please, and I'm sure you thank yourself for it. So thank you very much, and I look forward to knowing you guys better. So thank you, Aaron, once again. <clears throat> okay, thank, thanks, Lowell. Um, so I don't know if you, I think Yevabel is online. I don't know if he's in a position to speak. I don't know if he wants to add something before we hand over to Cindy. I'm online, but I'm sure like you can hear me. Is, um, you, we can hear you, yeah. Okay. Um, sorry that I joined actually just now, but I just I'm sure that you have probably told them that I think there is still a lot of opportunity for people to demonstrate what they what they can, and the leader more to the data speaker and it's like what what were you talking so that I don't have to repeat anything. No, so just just the, already said. the the main point is just to encourage people um, that we're looking for we want to gather data and that comes through um, making an effort. We're not expecting people to be job ready from day one. That's the main point I was just trying to emphasize. And also that um, people who submit early who have figured it out, their support in helping others will also um, help us to evaluate them further. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, it's also just important that actually you let your friends know that because probably they are not coming. I mean, I, I'm seeing that at least the number of people who are attending has gone more or less like two, three times lower. So I think that that may have been just because people gave up early so and i think you know knowing that all what we wanted was just um, that we wanted to, to show you what is what it looks like to be job ready but not really we don't expect you to be job ready um, in one day or in one week not even in, in five weeks we, that's why we, we thought it can be done in three months um, with, with a lot of work so i think anyone who's committed for that um, definitely we want want to give the chance and when we say that I think we also want to stress that it's actually if you think you I mean of course people who, who think that they can't make it in any way in three months definitely then of course and if they're not gonna put 
the work that's required, I think it's better for both of us in that way. But if you think this is going to be like, this is just the, this, this week, is the kind of, oh, you have to know everything, then that's wrong. Like that. You don't have to know. That's why we are there. That's why it's called the training program. Um, and therefore, we really um, will take you through. Um, with, um, you are willing to work and it get easier over time. And that has been what we have seen also in the past. So I would say just, yeah, it's like if you feel you are ready and you kind of are committed to um, and with the support of the team, I think I would say it's really, um, don't don't worry about what it is. It's like the things that you, that was very hard this week. We knew that it's hard, it's a lot of tasks. And the other weeks will, will get much slightly um, better in, in many ways because this one is just for, for us to know who's capable but uh, the other weeks will be a, a, a little bit less intensive as well because there's going to be one project only and there's going to be um, the tasks will be smart, not like five or six but will be just much more focused and, and kind of like week by week taking you through um, a loop that is kind of more or less the same which, which then you will get the kind of the feeling every week it's going to be the same and you kind of predict it and it will get easier so yeah, i think that's that's from my side so maybe we can just ask if there's <clears throat> any questions around that before we get into the stand-up Are there any hands up? Yes, Luel Hagos. Go on. Luel, are you there? Can you hear us? If you can, you are muted. OK, hello. Ah, hi, Luel. Go on. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, uh, my name is Luel. Uh, I have a question on the leaderboard. I have submitted every assignment and quizzes on time, but in the leaderboard is the saying not enough info. So why is that? This is my question. Thank you. So Luel, for that, please send me a DM. Um, we'll look into your case on an individual basis. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Anyone else? Otherwise, not nail? Nanel Teshom. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. Uh, I'm just asking. Uh, I was doing yesterday the class, and uh, I'm just asking how can I proceed with the class uh, to fill the three days gap, and any advice? How can I proceed with the class? So I think your main resource will be the tutoring channel. Um, you have the re all the videos uh, from the tutorials are available on the on our YouTube channel. Um, you can ask any questions you need in the tutoring channel. That's the right place to ask. Um, the challenge description should be pretty straightforward. Um, but if you have any questions, asking the tutoring channel, ask your colleagues, ask the tutors. Um, the submission is uh, due at latest next Wednesday. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I can start uh, to submit the tasks. Yeah. So we're we're not at this point in terms of lateness. It's not a not a problem. If you submit early, better. But lateness okay. is not a problem. We we know that you started later. That's you have a special case. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Yosef. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying there is also a question. Like, so that's maybe you have already said it. We'll probably share the user ID. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so if anyone has a question um, about their the mapping, you can DM me on Rocket Chat with your email, and I'll provide you with your user ID one on one.
Okay. Great. Um, so Cindy, over to you. Uh, thank you so much for that, Arun. Guys, uh, I don't know how we feel about uh, everything so far. So as per usual, I'd really like us to just really check in and have a bit of a brain dump uh, when it comes to how we are at mentally, emotionally, psychologically. Do we feel like we have what it takes to trudge on to the finish line or not? And I'd really like to hear where our minds are at when it comes to that. Okay, so who wants to go first? Remember, this is a bit like therapy, a bit like let us solve your problems. So, you know, because if you have a challenge and you tell us what it is, then it's a lot more likely that we are in a position to support you. So who wants to go first? And uh, I'm very curious to hear from people I do not think I have had their voices before. Who wants to go first? Um, the questions on the leaderboard, I think uh, Yababel is going to be addressing them in the, in the chat box, and you could also reach out to him. Uh, Arun has also mentioned things about uh, all the ways that we feel like you can still make up time for, in short, don't panic, because there's still a bit of time, okay? This is not a torture camp. We really just want you to succeed. Who wants to tell us how they're doing today and where their mind is at? I, I'm going to just choose someone randomly. Manzi Clement, are you here? Manzi? Manzi? Somewhere here. Oh, hi. Yes, somewhere here. Good morning. Good morning, Manzi. How are you to tell us? I'm fine. Okay. How's the program for you? Do you feel like you're droning or you're soaring? Uh, the program is really difficult. It is it's, uh, good for us because if you want to be great, you have to pass it through great. So we go on with the program. Okay. Whereas it, it is programmed. So what kind of support do you feel like you need? So that it's less difficult or a bit easier for you? Come again, please. What kind of support do you feel like you need from us? Uh, a kind of support. Maybe it's about coding because I'm not really mm -hmm. this code. But even Rocket Chat, we can we can chat. So they are helping. Me. They're helping you, right? And you are posting it on tutoring, and you're getting the help that you need. Yes, I'm getting the help. Okay, that is wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, Malif Estefanos, are you here? My love, my love. Estefanos, are you here? My love? Hello. Hi, good morning. Good morning, how are you doing this morning? Uh, I'm doing very well, and how are you? I'm good. Uh, it's been good so far. Okay. I think I'm getting a hang of it. Okay. Do you feel like yeah, at you... First, uh, Go on. At first, I thought, uh, I thought it was very challenging. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what exactly we were doing, but uh, as the days progressed, uh, I kept catching up. <clears throat> it was good. So, do you feel like you're able to submit your assignment? It was generally good. Now, uh, I, I keep going back and forth uh -huh. to the previous task. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. I've, I've been submitting my assignments. Okay. I've been late a few times, but uh, I've been submitting my assignments, yeah. Okay. And do you feel like you have the energy in you to keep going forward? My love, are you there? Oh yeah, definitely. I'll finish okay. this task and uh, I'll submit everything needed. Uh -huh. Hello, can you hear me? Hi, yes, absolutely. Hello? Hi, we can hear you, my love. I, I, I think, think there's, there's a lag between me and the uh, voice. Okay, thank you. Okay. 
Thank you for sharing. Uh, Faith Ashi Ono, are you here? Faith Ashi Ono? Faith, are you in the room? Okay. Deborah Hyler, are you here? Okay. Deborah, are you here? Is there someone who feels like they have something that they want to share with us? Because so that we can be able to know how you guys are. UL Fantai, please go on. Hello. Hi, hi UL. Hello, Deborah, everyone. you'll go after UL. Good morning. Tell us, how are you today? I'm good. Good morning, everyone. So it's been a really tough week for me personally. I didn't expect to go this far, but you know, from the tutoring help and from all the challenges, I tried to I tried to keep to keep up with the with the pace. And I've been submitting all of my assignments and quiz. Mm -hmm. It's been great, and I think I have all the energy to accomplish mm -hmm. until the finishing of this week. Yeah. And uh, I would like to raise a question about the certification for the degree. Okay, go on. So I've been talking with some of my colleagues here, and there are some issues with us that uh, we are left with two or half, two and a half months until accomplishing our degree. So uh, is there a place for us since, you know, we are a COVID batch, uh, it's been affected our graduation day, and you know, we can still accomplish this task and it's not quite demanding for the rest of our courses that have been left uh, at the university. Mm -hmm. So what's your status on uh, the, the colleagues here that didn't accomplish their degree yet, and at least for two months? Thank you, Yuel. Uh, Arun? Yeah, thank, thanks for that, Yuel. So what we want to, our goal is to, um, <clears throat> so we want to have a, there are certain guidelines that we've set out in terms of year of graduation and month of graduation, and we're asking people to confirm that information. So provide that, please. Um, we will be flexible. Our goal is very clear. <clears throat> we want people to be ready for the world of work by the 4th of October, 2021. And we believe that people need to be working, need to be available full time. Now, the that's our goal. Um, the real world is sometimes it doesn't fit into those guidelines perfectly. So we are ready to work with you. Yatiana is going to work with each of you to make sure that we have there that we have the right information. There's all sorts of special cases. Maybe somebody doesn't have a certificate in different countries. Maybe in the in past years we've also looked used transcripts. So we are not going to be um, hard nosed and bureaucratic. We would rather be practical and pragmatic. So send in your information and we'll find a way together. Um, just to emphasize, what we've said from day one is we're looking for three things. Highly motivated people who are fast to learn and who are ready to support the community. There are some other considerations, but those are the three main things that we're looking for. So you'll please submit and we'll work on that um, on an individual basis. And we'll be as uh, practical as possible. Thank you, Arun. Uh, Yuel, I hope that answers your question. Yes? Uh, yes, yes. Thank you very much. Okay, not a problem. And thank you for sharing. Deborah, would you like to go next? Yeah, sure. Good oh. morning, everybody. Good morning, Deborah. Uh, it's day four today, and <clears throat> there's a task that's to be handed. Mm -hmm. I have had some challenges with it because uh, organizing this kind of project, this kind of huge project, uh, I like ideally is a bit tough, but I'm trying to work on it. I'm very tired, but I'm. I will keep going. Mm -hmm. So, is there is there any support you feel like we can provide for you? I think uh, there are resources. It's just uh, a matter of time. Okay. And do you feel like uh, you do you feel confident that you'll be able to handle this and uh, become a machine learning engineer at the end of it all? Is this something that you feel like you're confident in? Uh, yeah, I mean, 
I think uh, it's hard. The process is hard. The learning curve is very steep, but yeah. I'm hopeful and I'm very confident in putting on in putting in the work. I'll Thank try you. my best. Okay. Thank you so much for that, Deborah. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Yeah. Um, anyone who wants to go uh, right now, please just raise your hand. I'd be happy to see you instead of uh, having to randomly call people. Uh, let's just see. Stella Kibika, how are you? Then, Abel? Okay, Abel, why don't you go first then? Then we'll go to Stella. Abel? Okay, okay. Hello, everyone. Hi, good morning. Uh, I want to ask a question about the leaderboard. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm seeing that uh, the email is not, it's abbreviated, not a full information, mm -hmm. and uh, there is a user ID, and mm -hmm. how can we know our user ID? Mm -hmm. That's my question. Okay, thank you for that, Abel. Mm. Yeah, Bebel, are you still in the meeting? Abel, you can just, you can send a direct message to Arun, and I'll I'll provide that mapping. Okay, okay. Send a direct message with your email. So it's, it's hard to make it anonymous without, uh, but yeah, send a direct message, please, to me, and we'll provide okay. that mapping. Yeah. The main reason why we hit those uh, email addresses is because of data protection, privacy. It's it's important. So um, who was who was supposed to be next? Stella Kibika. Do you want to give us an overview of where you are at the moment, Stella? Uh, yeah, I hope you can hear me. We can hear you very well. Good morning, okay. Stella. Good morning. Uh, from my end, I think first I have to say the chit chat is just a very good break yeah. from, from all the hard work. Yeah. The videos and interactions yesterday were very refreshing. Mm -hmm. uh, on, on the part of the machine learning, it's also been a steep curve for me, and uh, there are parts I haven't done, and I've had to improvise to do, to do the, the assignments. For, for the days that came after day one. But uh, after doing those assignments, the, the first one starts making sense. So everything seems to be coming together finally. Okay. So do you yeah. feel like you need any extra support? I, I've been getting a lot of support from the tutoring. Mm. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's where I've been getting support to to see how everything is fitting into into what we're doing now. Okay, so you feel yeah. confident that you are able to move forward without feeling too overwhelmed? Yes. Uh, yeah, it it's uh, it, it was overwhelming on day one and day two, but uh, now now I'm seeing the flow and it's becoming easier. Ah. That is wonderful yeah. to hear. Absolutely. Absolutely. And thank you so much for sharing. Paul C. Demavils. Bonjour. How do you pronounce your name? <laughs> and you're muted. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, just how do you pronounce your name first? Because I feel like I butchered it. <laughs> Are you from Congo? Yes, I'm from Congo, Brazzaville. Ah, wonderful. Tell us, how are you today? I'm pretty good, and you? Ah, wonderful. I'm wearing yellow, so it means it's a good day, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm wearing so pink, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh -huh. So tell us, uh, how's the program been for you? Do you feel like you're able to keep up? What are you yep. struggling with? Uh, just give us everything. Yeah, the for me the program is going very well. Uh, okay. Just yesterday we got some issue with the rocket chat, but it was solved. And uh, the way that the message are coming, it means like in in my mail when I see the messages coming, it means like people are working very hard. We are trying to solve everything, and uh, I think everything is going perfect for me. Thank you very much. Yeah. So for you, you are sailing and it's smooth and you're having the time of your life. Yeah, it's... Oh, damn. It's... Okay. In that case, why don't you give everyone else in the room a word of encouragement? <laughs> and you can share some of the tips that you're using that are helping you feel like you are in a Zen 
Zen space? Oh, in, in, in Ten Academy, we have a ritual we used to do. It's like when we receive someone new or we do something new, we just say, wow, wow, and wow. So every morning when I'm just wake up, I'm okay. saying thanks to God. I'm saying my wow to just say I'm still alive, so I still have the power to go and fight and do my work. Exactly. <laughs> That's I my think you borrow that too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I need to put in a few wows in the morning as well when I'm waking up. Thank you yeah. so much for the energy and, and for the good vibes, right? Yeah. Um, I think we can take a couple more people. I do not want to leave anyone behind. So uh, is there any Ghanaian in the room right now? I know we've had from a Kenyan. I'm, I'm roughly guessing with the name. So I, I'm not very good when it comes to that. Oh, Michael Dako. Are we, we right? Yeah. Uh, please. And please tell us yeah. your, name, your last name, especially. <coughs> Mm -hmm. It's a typical Ghanaian name, and even it's difficult for Ghanaians to pronounce it. Okay, makes me feel better. <laughs> Go on, Michael. <laughs> yes, um, I mean, it has been hectic. Well, for me, I think what I do is sometimes I have some errands and stuff to run within the day, so the mm -hmm. time is so squeezed. So mm -hmm. what I do is anywhere that I am, I, mm -hmm. I, I make sure that I, I have my phone along. Then mm -hmm. in the afternoon, I'll try, in the morning, I'll just join the stand-up before I leave. In the mm -hmm. afternoon, I'll follow the tutorials. Then mm -hmm. I'll make sure that I'll be able to do the quiz. Mm -hmm. Then probably when I come home late, a little bit late in the night, um, around four, five, six, mm -hmm. I just sit and then go through the work and then do what I'll be able to do and then push what I have to push and then continue mm -hmm. working on it. It's hectic, mm -hmm. but I mean, the nothing good comes easy so it's something mm -hmm. you just have to get used to but i'm i'm I've, I've gotten the grip of it and i'm a bit okay with it now so do you feel a bit more confident sure sure i feel a bit more oh. confident and okay. i think uh, i'm i'm getting used to most of um, those one-liners and stuff and trying to make sure that your code is readable and all that mm -hmm. and uh, if things get hard remember what your tutor policy strategy is say a couple of wows and things are gonna feel a little bit better at least i hope so All right. okay. <laughs> thank, thank you, you michael yeah do we have a few ladies who'd like to speak please i feel like we, we need a few sharp voices in the room sometimes maybe one or two would like to say something before we close up our stand up today no are our ladies too shy today? Yourself and the work. Okay, go on. Please Good morning. Good morning. My name is Yosef. Okay. Uh, what I'd like to ask is, uh, is it okay to just edit the codes every time we make some advancements? I mean, uh, there's been tasks for each day that is given to us, Monday, Tuesday, and wasting it goes on and it's okay to still edit the code for monday's task for now right mm -hmm. i mean the monday's task is not a done deal mm -hmm. uh, that's what i would like to ask uh, aaron and uh, all the team if it's okay to still push the code to still make the right decisions from this point of uh, time aaron <laughs> So, Yevabel, do you want to make a... I, I have my perspective. Yevabel, you're probably better placed with your perspective. Uh, what do you mean? I, mean, I, def I definitely think um, there is time. And it's just a matter of how much you have been kind of thinking about it, as well as how much you are ready. So. Okay. I mean, there is one thing that cannot be replaced, just hard work, right? So yeah, whatever it is, it's, uh, so if one is ready and they have just, you know, the desire and a little bit just background, not as much as what you, you know, like the kind of requirement is, is that you, you know, a little bit of coding, you know, a little bit of like something just that would make you start, not just, you know, bring you from ground zero. But as long as you have that, you have seen it. It's not just that. 
uh, I'm saying it because I believe in it. It's just also because we have seen it. We had in batch three people <coughs> started from very, very far and who made it and really became excellent. So in that case, you know, I'm confident that if people put work and have the just uh, kind of the requirements that we, we want to see, I think they will make it. So just I will say, really, there is still time. But I, I think the question was, can they resubmit uh, some of the work that's already been submitted? My answer there would be yes, absolutely. Yes, if you can improve, hundred percent. Yeah, we'd love we'd love to see it yeah. actually. Yeah, I think I think the logic is like, okay, we are opening it in the way that probably our own announced it. The reason is because, you know, I, I think um, Cindy said it again and again. We are not like, you know, we are, we want you to succeed. It's not that we have, like, yeah, we want to evaluate and kind of like give you like excellent good whatever marking i think that's all just a kind of a framework that we have to do so that we we have a limited sports right so the most important thing we want to see is that are you capable and will you be job ready in, in three in three months uh, sorry in three uh, 12 weeks which is three months so that's the only thing we want to see all the rest are just and then of course the discipline the work ethic you know the mindset i think the the most we do at 10 academy we know it is not as much teaching, it's much, uh, much more. Um, what we really do is preparing the mindset. A mindset, you know, work mindset is very different from student mindset. So we want to bring you to that level. So yeah, definitely show, demonstrate what you can do in in the time that's allowed. So resubmit whatever you have done. Um, yeah. Okay, that was helpful. Thank you very much. Thank you for that, Yosef. Thank you very much for that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, clearly, I feel like we have addressed uh, a, a lot of the things most of us were going through, okay? As you're going through this process, I want you to remember that we are on your side. Yeah, so the mindset isn't like, how many people can we fail out? It's like, how many people can we genuinely and legitimately help succeed into this? Because your success is very closely tied with ours, okay? so. Unless, uh, Arun, you have any other feedback from the day, I think a lot of feedback was shared. Uh, we could call it a meeting. I would just summarize really briefly. Um, so what, what have we said? One is that, um, that anyone can resubmit, and the, actually we're going to be reaching out to everyone who is admitted into week zero, offering them the opportunity to um, hand in up till, the, up till the end of the month, which is Wednesday. 30th of June, 8 p.m. UTC. And that's an opportunity for everyone here to take a little bit more time um, if they want to work on something, but also to showcase what people can do. I know because time is so short, um, some people were perhaps just submitting, maybe in a little bit of a panic. Take your time, use the tutoring channel, ask your colleagues. If somebody here has said, I figured it out, don't hesitate to just send a message and say, um, be specific and ask a question. If you want to, as uh, Yosef asked, if you want to spend a, spend some more time and rework your submission, absolutely. Things will slow down. We will go deeper. Um, show us that you are willing to put the work in and to learn fast. And the second one is on leaderboards. If you have a question about um, what your student ID is, send Arun a direct message and we'll provide that mapping to you. Um, and for the challenges that we're figuring out with Rocket Chat, and other sorts of um, ups and downs. We're working on building the system. Apologies for any of that confusion. But um, we've been open about um, us building the system as we're running the system. And we're doing that so that we can reach scale. So it's always harder to build a factory that makes a table as opposed to building a table. So we're busy trying to at least build a table making machine, if not the factory. So sometimes there's a couple of tables that get bent along the way. So thanks for your patience as we work uh, as we work through that. Great, uh, thank you. Uh, before we go, Demelash, you've just raised your hand. Is there something you'd like to add? Demelash. Yes, yes. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Thank you for giving a chance to be part of this uh, great work. And I and again I would like to thank you for waking me permanent before three years. 
and it's uh, it's like a, a It, it, it's uh, working hard, but there are uh, maybe I, I, I try to fit on my home, and uh, I I wouldn't sleep before very just 3 p.m. 4 p.m. on my local time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. How can how can we cope up with on going forward? Because I have, I I think I work hard, but because of some reasons like internet connection, because I'm buying internet and it lost us and it come back and I can't submit the assignments on time. So I do, uh, what what can you say for what 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 do you advise for me? Because I want to proceed, but I don't know how. So, so Smegnash, maybe I can ask, what do your colleagues say? Community, what do you say to Smegnash? Does somebody want to share their um, share their perspective? How you deal with the internet challenges in your own countries, but also the motivation challenge. How to how to decide to keep going? Yeah, I think I I bought internet every day, and it it works sometime and it it lost us. I think Michael wants to speak. Michael, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I think um, the the real motivation in in this is. Actually, take. You've muted yourself, Michael. I mean, the the real um, motivation here is actually taking the work in um, in bits and pieces, not looking at it from uh, like the bigger picture. Because when when at least you you run um, a line and it works, it's like wow, you are getting somewhere. So that gives you a motivation to push ahead. But when you look at it beyond the line of code and you try to look at the bigger picture, you get overwhelmed. And that is one, one thing that I used to motivate myself with. And surely when the little ones take care of themselves, eventually the bigger one will also take shape. Thank you for that, Michael. Thank you for sharing. Uh, small bites at a time. Tadase. Tadase. Kebede, you've raised your hand. Do you have a word of encouragement? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Actually, I have uh, raised my hand to recommend Semenish, the Malash. It is hard to use a mobile phone. Uh, for this tutorial, and it is better if she moved to somewhere and uh, get a connection. Maybe somewhere, some office, uh, whether it is uh, a governmental and non-governmental office, which have a good connection because it needs some plugins and installation of uh, any modules of Anaconda and the blah blah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so she have to go there. It is difficult to take this course in a home, yeah? I have tried one day and uh, I missed many things so that I moved to somewhere. So she have to uh, pay this uh, sacrifice in order to be successful. This is my recommendation, thank you. Tadesa, mm. thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we want to make sure that we give you enough time to catch up on a few things before your first tutorial. So everyone, please do remember that we are available on Rocket Chat using the tutorial channel, or or you can DM me, or you can definitely DM uh, either Arun or uh, or Yati regarding regarding depending on whatever it is you need help with. Okay, your tutors are here, delighted to help you and support you and everything else. Okay, and if something is absolutely troublesome, please do not hesitate to also email 
to also email train at tenacademy.org. Yes. Jakinda, you've just raised your hand. Uh, hi, Cindy, how are you? Hi, good morning. Good morning. Uh, mine is just a suggestion, really, yeah. on how to plan the schedule, maybe for the next turn or something like that. Okay. Uh, I noticed that the tutorials, mostly the morning tutorials are more like uh, theoretical, give or take. Okay. Yeah, and then the, the afternoon ones, okay, in my time, that's uh, in Kenya, it's like at 4, 4 p.m. or something. Yeah. So I was wondering, is there a way that you can switch the the code one to be the, in the morning when someone is fresh and also it gives someone a lot of time to like uh, arrange and uh, just know what you'll be doing and how you'll be doing it, giving you more time. And then you do the, the theoretical part in the evening when now at least someone has done something and maybe he's a little bit tired or something then now we give him the theoretical part and pushes it's yeah. just a suggestion i'm just saying okay uh thank you for that suggestion arun would you would you want to take care of that or, or, or would you well, well, well noted i think we'll we'll take that on board um for this week there's two days left we may not be able to integrate that but for the coming weeks, um, <clears throat> once we're into week zero and the 12th of July, we'll definitely consider that. Um, once things slow down and we can, there will be a lot more time, the class size will be smaller. Um, but yeah, I think that's, that's a point well taken. We'll pass that on to the tutoring team who are also on this call. And um, yeah, point well taken. But actually this, this sort of suggestion is really helpful. Um, I, I guess the last point to make is we, all of this is so that um, when you go sit down for your job interview, our goal is that you are prepared. Um, and so some of these, I mean, frankly speaking, we have no control over what, in, in what uh, companies are going to ask you on interviews. And we learn sometimes companies throw you crazy things. And so it's actually not a bad preparation to be able to answer something. So um, yes, uh, thanks for that. We'll take that on board. Um, Okay, uh, thank you everyone. I guess we will call it a morning. Uh, see you at the tutorial this morning in around 36 minutes, okay? Goodbye everyone.